Hello and welcome to Tech Luddite Generation Zero Stream Day Eleven. Hey Tech, or, <laughs> hey Tech, <laughs> reading uh, reading your message here. Hey Clicker, thanks for tuning in so quickly too. You're so prompt. All right, so last night we left off uh, in a place where I was just getting my butt kicked, and I'd like to go back there. Hey, Wreck It Rowdy, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to go back there and try to finish that up, but we absolutely have to do a loot run because I have no no adrenaline. So if I go down again, it's just, you know, uh, respawning back at uh, at the safe house. So um, I think we'll have to start with a, with a loot run. Now, apparently... There are, yeah, these challenges here that might make it worth going back and, let's see, going back to the starter area to have prototypes to fight. We need uh, harvesters of any class, picks of any class. Tanks of any class, relay beacons. Oh, there's so many. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I didn't even know that was that was a task. I haven't used the the magnum at all. Oh man, <laughs> that's that's funny. Okay, we have uh, we have to do some melee uh, melee kills also. Oh, this one looks like, uh, this one's about base building. Uh, this one might be late game. I don't, uh, I don't think we have anything experimental, any blueprints for that. <laughs> Messages in a bottle. Oh, I have no idea about that. All right, well let's uh let's get straight into it. Yeah. One of these towns I'm sure be pretty good for a loot run. Oh yeah, this one here I think. No fast travel. That's okay. Uh, that's nearby. Looks like we're a little heavy. Not too heavy, though.
All right. That bunker, actually that part of that bunker there, and that town I think should have a fair amount of, of loot spawns for us to check. I hear a floater. There he is. In there. I wonder if, if those beacons spawn randomly. I think I think I'm out of, out of meds completely. Oh man, yeah. I need a crafting table just for uh, basic meds. I don't even think we can <laughs> we can work on this beacon. We have uh, no meds at all. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we'll go craft a little. Ah, uh, Warzone. Yeah, I was I was playing that on PC a little, but. Uh, I don't know what it is about the, the Call of Duty engines. I'm just not not a huge fan, and uh, seems there's no hope for Battlefield. I was I was thinking the new Battlefield was going to be pretty cool, especially with the uh, I forget the name uh, Hazard Zone mode. But it sounds like all all of that was a was a big flop. All right, back at it.
That's cool. They're all going to my uh, my last known last known with uh, the shotgun sound. I think. Oh, I need to make sure I'm looting these guys. Thought that thing was uh, destroyed. Hey, 220 FPS, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome, dude. As far as loot runs go, not, not too effective so far. I think we've uh, we've spent more than we've gained. That is uh, that is weird. At first, I was thinking it was a reflection of that, but it's just uh, the hazard lights.
That was a bad idea early on. This guy had it rough. I don't think I've seen a, a single adrenaline shot yet. I wonder if there's a particular place that's, that's best to loot adrenaline. Get it over into that town at least. Stuck again. You gotta be kidding me. All right, at least we made it to the town this time. Well, almost.
So last uh, last night's stream, uh, live on the stream, I did a, an explanation of the weight system and uh, storage and and crafting, or at least uh, uh, recycling. And I turned it into my my first uh, instructional video on on YouTube or tips and tricks uh, for Generation Zero. So far, I'd I'd only been uploading like full dumps of the stream, which are, you know, long and not really great YouTube videos, but uh, just trying to get some, some content started over there. And uh, yeah, so now I have I have two playlists, the daily stream playlist, which is just a, a full dump of uh, this content here. And and I'll try to find topics that, uh, that I can talk about for just instructional or explanation. Uh, explanation type videos and I'll I'll cut those out and put them in their own their own list One adrenaline shot. So maybe those uh, military no power. That's weird. I mean, the power's on. Alright, so we've we've looted a good amount of those those ammo boxes or military crates, but the the rate that we're getting these adrenaline shots is pretty low, so I might switch to something else here. I might pull up a map and see if we can find where the adrenaline schematics are and, and just head there, work our way there and get our adrenaline that way uh, and start, start crafting it. out of here and do a, a quick run through that town at least
yeah, some of these power doors are, are working and some are not. I think it might be a bug with this, this base because we had a hard time just getting into it in the first place. And uh, fast travel out and running back fixed it. So. Please. This town might might not be the best for for a loot run, but we'll uh, we'll give it a quick uh, quick go. That's cool. Extended mag for the the starter pistol. I didn't know that was a I didn't know that was a thing. Right off the top of my head, I feel like uh, that that town, I can't remember the name, I, I probably couldn't pronounce it if I could, but there's two two towns stacked right on top of each other. It's actually where that, that burning, burning building for my uh, stream ending scene came from. And that place definitely has a lot of a lot of ammo crates that are just out out in the open, very, very quick to, to hit up, so Let me uh, let me take a gander at where that uh, where that adrenaline blueprint might be, and if it's somewhere that we can get to easily, we'll head there. If not, then we're gonna head to this town here and do a loot run. But I think we only have one one adrenaline after after this little run. Yeah, two adrenaline shots. That's uh, that's not great.
Wow, there may not be a schematic. So uh, I'm looking at some search results for where where I can farm them more quickly. All right, so it's it's not looking good. Apparently, uh, even since the uh, resistant up, uh, resistance update, it's been been made harder. But there's no no blueprint or schematic for adrenaline shots. And now adrenaline shots, once they've been picked up in the world, they may not respawn. And to add to that, one place that's good to get them is up here somewhere in the north that we're days days away from getting to so it looks like it might just be as we find them in containers and i think this is probably our best bet here to at least do one one solid run try to get a few and then we'll be back on the on the quest path Yeah, it's not all bad. Our ammo is definitely depleted, and, and we're getting a lot with with this, but I was hoping to have a few more adrenaline by now. We are picking up some med kits and flares, so that's that's nice.
Yeah, this spot is turning out to be great for an uh, ammo run. I think we'll come back here when we need ammo until we find a, a better loot run spot. All right, I think that's uh, that's good enough. All right, on the road again. You know what? One of those tasks, one of those tasks might be helpful for this spot. It said uh, lure, lure a machine with a radio and destroy it with uh, with a tank. So uh, I think we've got plenty of plenty of radios and tanks. So let's let's give it a go.
I want to say I made this uh, this bike bike trip uh, six times, seven times now. Last night, trying to trying to defeat the uh, big batch of enemies at this town. Ah, uh, Mr. Wyoming, welcome back. Just did a, a loot run through a few towns, and now, now I'm gonna I'm gonna make another attempt. That that same place where I got my butt kicked over and over last night. Yeah, that was that was wild. And that that building is definitely not good for cheesing. And I'd like to try this this method of placing an explosive and then placing a boombox to deliver them. We'll see if we can get a ton of them knocked out that way. Spot should be good for getting it from that that rock uh, hill there. as I had hoped. Oh man, and it starts. I think this will be the spot where we uh, try to lure them and fight them. Uh, Alright, got a tank there, stuck in that bunker. I think it's rocket pods are on the bottom there, so we'll have to do something about that guy.
Nice. Uh, tier 2 rocket launcher. We will only have a tier 1 of that item so far. What? What is hitting us? Is it up top? It is. Jesus, that sniper rifle is too much. I guess it's an anti anti material rifle. And I'm the material. There we go. WNC Survival, thanks for stopping by again, man. How are ya? I really wish that. That tank wasn't stuck in there.
Yeah, I had to I had to take a nap after work myself. I was uh, pretty beat from uh, <laughs> chair duty. And here I am again, sitting down. I, I should uh, maybe get a standing standing setup for gaming. I don't know if I could do that though. Use it. Uh, use a mouse and keyboard while standing for gaming. I do it for work here and there. Still working. Oh man. grenades. Uh, let's see. inching its way out. I think it's almost down. Good. Okay. 
Okay, that was uh, that was kind of awesome. That's uh, that's the best. Uh, I don't know corpse glitch I've seen so far. Cool. I think that's our uh, first or second tier four item, tier four attachment. I think it'll show us in the inventory the effects of attachments too, so we could we can compare that. I guess this guy wasn't uh, wasn't guarding anything behind him that way. He was guarding this, which we we dropped in from up there, I think. Oh well. Oh, let's see about that attachment. Yeah, it doesn't show there, so let's clear it and we'll go into attachments. Yeah, see. Here we see that, but here we don't. So I don't know. Maybe. Oh, you know what? For optics, I think it's like the uh, the quality um, and condition that you see visually when you're using it. So a clean, like a cleaner, cleaner glass, uh, good condition glass. All right, so we're we're right outside of that that town. What? Oh yeah, you're still up. Come down, buddy. You don't have any. <laughs> you don't have any uh, ranged weapons left. Just making sure we got all these uh, corpses looted up. Robo corpses. Got all the containers in there. Oh, there's one. Okay, so I'd like, uh, I mean, this is why we came down here in the first place, this quest, but I want to clear out this side first, whatever this is. Tank. Uh, don't have the, uh, the ammo for that now, so we'll just try to stay out of sight from that guy. Uh, or not. That was dumb. That's not enterable. Nothing up there.
you know, I think we've yet to find anything really incredible behind the, the locked doors, and I'm wondering if getting that was... No, you know, it would eat me alive if I couldn't check what was behind each, uh, each locked door, so... But it was a few skill points, I think, to get that. Yeah, two to get that one, uh, that one ability. Alright, in, into the bunker. I think we've got the right quest on our HUD here. Yep. Alright, who's inside? Probably uh, doggos and ticks, like usual. Actually running out of med kits, I think I crafted 40 before this this little journey. Okay, I think this is popping us out where that tank is, maybe? Yeah, on the other side of them, that's interesting. Okay, let's go this way before knocking out the quest. Oh man, I almost let him spot me again. Okay, no power there. Yeah, this is an interesting bunker layout. Yeah, come on, come on down, buddy. Crazy. Yeah, this one's sprawling but uh, with a lot of outdoor uh, outdoor areas Alright, now I'm getting really sidetracked from the uh, the quest track in there, so let's take a quick peek at what's around out here. Alright. Yeah, this is a this is a cool bunker. Normally that it's mostly interior, that's what we've ran into, but the, uh, it's cool. King and the staircase. That makes sense. Back to it. Try not to aggro this guy as he's doing his patrol. Yeah, that's the door we'll come back for after we get the power on.
or about 18 kilograms still full, so hopefully we get a, get a safe house here soon. I don't think this is a proper bunker in the, the bunker discovery quest, though. You know, so we might not actually get a safe house here. to that door. Kinda sounds like a, a hunter in there. Nope, it's a doggo. Hi Armageddon, thanks for joining man. Doing uh doing good here. Just trying to clear out a clear out a bunker and knock out a quest. Did not see that guy. Quest item. After all the things that we found in the last bunker or two, I'm I'm really thinking that that's the that's the the mystery is uh, is it the local government that picked all this off or an invading force? Okay, no key for that. two more levels away from a huge boost to resistance. And hopefully that that increases the uh, the robo's time to kill on me by, I don't know, a second would be nice. It's about a, uh, one or two seconds I think depending on you know who's who's shooting you with what so I'd love to see that increase a little. Apparently there's like a exoskeleton type armor, not anything big, but uh, just uh, robot parts that you can put on top of your clothing. So I'll have to start working on that. Oh, that's why I was looking at the assignments, or not assignments, challenges, because I believe it's uh, in one of these, let's see, yep, 
there it is. So at the end of, of all of these, each one has a... Oh, except for this. Nothing there. See, there's our uh, Phoenix tank chains, Phoenix uh, harvester gloves, hunter jacket, seeker goggles, tick helmet, runner boots. So I'll have to put more time into to working on these. Assuming that exoskeleton gives us more resistance, I would hope I would hope so. I hope it's not just cosmetic. Oh cool. Compensator. Uh, let's see if that goes on the M60. No, it must be for the smaller caliber machine guns. Oh, we are still looking for a command center, so I wonder. I wonder if we'll get a safe house here or a uh, war board. Uh, I thought we wouldn't, but normally there's these uh, bunker markers or these, this here. No other doors in here, but there's a there's a robo on the other side of this wall, or maybe above us here. Yeah, I think it's above us. Yep. Just pass uh, power door two, I believe. So let's let's backtrack, and if if those aren't powered, then we'll go across that that tank's patrol. Yeah, requires key. That one, I don't think, can be opened. Captain, hey man. Uh, yeah, I, I'm digging it. I, I really like this game. It's uh, very atmospheric. The, the combat's fun. You can do uh, some cheesing on the maximum difficulty if you're getting overwhelmed but yeah as far as a uh, pve looter shooter with rpg elements it's it's a ton of fun let's see yeah the the bunkers are cool this one has an especially cool layout if you just tuned in uh, right now we're on uh, the interior, obviously, but this one has kind of a, a sprawling exterior compared to other bunkers, but it's not seeming like a proper bunker in terms of there's a whole there's a whole quest line for that. So this is uh, another bunker that we know of the location, but here's yeah, so we've discovered these two, and here's the remaining ones that we have to it into. Each one has a war board and that gives you more missions. This one here, it's definitely a bunker, of course, but um, I don't think we'll get a, a spawn point out of it, or a, a safe house they're called. Hey, 
they're both kind of bugging out. Both those uh, tagos seem like they're shooting through the wall, or shooting at the wall. Man, okay, this thing is uh, a sprawling interior too. So our quest is that way, I think. Looks like it. Let's try to go the other way. Alright, adrenaline shot. Apparently you can get those out of backpacks too. The adrenaline shots, that's what you use to uh, respawn in the middle of combat without having to spawn at a safe house. It seems there's no penalty that, uh, that I'm aware of for going down in combat other than any, any robot corpses that you haven't looted. They'll despawn at least, uh, perhaps if your nearest spawn is far enough away that, uh, that they will. So last night we had this huge, huge fight and we were getting beat up left and right. And I don't know, the, the first time that I went down, I took out at least 15 machines. And when I came back, all of the corpses, and I didn't lose a single one, all of the corpses were gone, which was, uh, it was disappointing after every fight, you know, it costs, costs you ammo. And well, I think that's an upgrade. Let's see. Every fight costs you ammo and meds, and if you don't recoup some of that, that, uh, that cost is, uh, is pretty rough. Oh, this is something we picked up in this bunker. This is an upgrade also. Okay, we already had that. That quality scope on, on the M16. Uh, field radios, those items uh, you can use to set a spawn point nearby. I'm not sure how many uses they're good for, but it looks like it's only for co-op. I tried to set one in that, in that crazy fight last night to spare the run, run back from the safe house, but it did not work. I couldn't spawn on it, so I think you can only spawn on one that your, your uh, co-op mate or, uh, or squad mate sets. These are both new new attachments. Let's take a look at that. All right, cool. And something for the machine gun too. I oh, still can't put it on that. Oh, SMG, all right.
here we've got velocity, recoil reduction, or noise reduction. I think uh, I think recoil reduction might be might be best. Not sure if the velocity improves damage. Maybe the uh, reduces the damage drop off distance. Well, that sounds pretty chunky for <laughs> for an SMG. Man, we're getting a ton of attachments out of this place. Attachments I didn't even know existed. I think we cleared this. Did we clear this? No. Man, I'm gonna get lost in this bunker. Okay, let's, uh, that's maybe to the quest. Let's go the opposite way. Okay, I, I think we came this way. Double check, yeah, we came from this way. All right. Yeah, I think that that attachment's picked up the, the damage a bit. All right, let's see what what detail, what clue do we have now? Torch barrier, torch barrier over. This is HMS Visbori, 10 nautical miles southeast of Hissingen Asset. We are receiving incoming fire from your guns. Please advise. Repeat, you are firing upon a friendly. Hold your fu- Yeah, the mystery unfolds. It definitely had to be a inside job. I think that one, that message all but confirms it there, huh? Right now. This, I think, is part of the same base. This place is huge. Oh, and I wonder if this is a route that we ignored before. Yep, okay. Cool. Nice little shortcut back. So I think that that clears everything this way. And now I wonder if it's going to be leading us across that that tank's path that uh, had a power door we couldn't go through before. Yeah, that seems to be the way it's it's uh, leading us now. Yep, there it is.
Don't mind us. That's a cool picture there. Let's uh let's snap that. No power. We have power. Dang it. Yeah, I'd say as far as uh, as far as bugs or issues in this game go, that might be number one is when a door is powered and it won't open. I think we'll have to fast travel out and back, but let's see if uh, we can get something done this way. I should get a magnum on my on my bar sometime. That's part of the part of the quest or the uh, challenges. Oh, we just filled up on weight. Bad time to lose sprinting in a bad spot. Dude, look at that arsenal. I think we could disable this whole place. A little uh, explosives ar around this room. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. No, no fast travel. No, no sprinting, and no safe house. I think if we get to the end of it here, we'll probably just drop some crafting resource. Let's see, we've got six pounds from that, four from that, 4.200. Oh, oh.
Can we jump? Yes, we can jump. And the design of this bunker is sick. It's just so sprawling. And I thought that about the, the last one. This one is massive. A whole, whole separate entrance. Okay, <clears throat> this is down down yonder from where we poked our head out before. And I do think we're out of directions to go, so if that if that door won't open, I'm going to have to fast travel out and run back because that might be the only way to fix a power door that thinks it doesn't have power. Oh, one way we didn't go down there. All right. Yeah, I swear some some of these uh, SMGs and like the uh, AS Val or AT Watt, I think they call it. They have they have better hip fire than they do ADS, I think. Jeez, this bunker never ends. Oh, we are way, way over on weight now. Soon we're not going to be able to move. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to 
drop, drop some stuff, fast travel out and come back because we're only getting more and more loot. Yeah, if we go through here, clear these bunkers, we're going to pick up more, drop more. I'm just uh, can I close this? Yeah, by far the biggest bunker. At least that we've ran into. popped out. Okay. Yeah, it won't be too bad coming back. We'll just have to <laughs> either uh, hop off the bike here or maybe we could maybe we could go down this way and then this way. I'd like to come come back in right here actually. All right, so let's see what we what we can drop. Yeah, it just these two items, I think, would be enough. Let's see if that if that lasts till we till we make it back. I don't think it will, but we'll give it a go. sick. I don't even remember picking that up. Alright, it might might finally be time to change our shoddy. I really like the, the pump, and I think we have a tier 3 one, but let's compare, uh, let's compare damage real quick. Yeah, more damage. Alright, it's time to switch. What a good spot. We've got a tier four Magnum also, or Magnus. And all these things have funny names. And a tier three launcher. Yeah, I'm just dropping all this extra stuff. We'll come back to, to break down another time. Yeah, I cannot believe how many high quality weapons and attachments we're getting out of that, that one bunker. That's off the chart. AG4, I think that's that uh, assault rifle we haven't started using, the 556 one. Yeah. Maybe it's this, the uh, 7.62 one. All 
Well, we're still uh, still quite heavy. Is that all crafting resources? Oh, a lot of steel, probably. Mm. Not a lot of weight, though. Yeah, so here you can dump these crafting resources uh, just with uh, R down. Uh, yeah, look at your tooltip for your system, but it's down at the bottom. 58, still heavy. Yeah, I'm not sure what else we can drop that isn't useful for a fight. We've got uh, the two launchers on us, but I feel like we need both of them to, to take down tanks. Tanks and harvesters. Alright, good, good enough, I suppose. Craft a few more med kits and be on our way. Where is that station? Do we not have one here? I guess not. Okay. Well, we've we've got a few kits. Almost popped a wheelie. I am going to try to ignore all the enemies on the way, even if we get detected, and want to find out if that, that backpack will stay. Your tank or harvester. Yep, harvester. I'm gonna try to cruise on by. Don't mind us. Oh man. Oh, I had a feeling that was gonna go go bad.
All right, I think we still have one following us. Nope, we got away. All right. Right here, there's a safe house right here. And a quest. Sounds like that corporal wasn't wasn't pre pre prepared to uh, do her duty there. There's another upgrade. Even, even closer, man, if I would have just looked around. Requires key, all right. There we go. I cannot believe how close that was, but I'll, I'll take it. Ah, thanks, WNC. Hey, and the backpack's still there. All right, let's go drop this stuff back off. I don't know. I don't know if you saw that uh, WNC, but uh, all that exploring through this crazy sprawling bunker, and I, I popped out here, and I, man, I bet that was on my my compass wheel, the uh, the safe house marker. But there was a safe house right next to where I popped out. 
and I, I fast traveled all the way up here to, to drop stuff off. Biked back, got beat up a little, and ran over here. And yeah, the safe house right outside. The best loot spot for weapons and attachments that we've ran into, and that's, I'll zoom out a little here. This whole sprawling bunker, which, man, it's encompassing this whole mountain almost, it seems. crafting station. No, recycling station. All right. Here we go. Yep, fix this one. Or did we go through this one already? Now I don't know, man, this thing is so huge. This one, I believe, we could not open, so yeah, fast traveling fixed it. So if you ever have a, a power door that won't open, fast travel out, come back. Oh, I've yet to try out this guy. Let's give that a go. Yeah, that fire rate is very nice. Wait a second. Nothing in here at all? The quest? Ah, here we go. Alright.
Oh, it's it's the robots doing it. You gotta be kidding me. That is awesome. I thought it was a inside job. Maybe the the robots became uh, sentient. I don't know. All right, one down. crafted more bird shot. That is weird. Is that glass? Oh, it's just a bug. Crazy. Yeah, hip firing with this thing is not reliable. There's our staircase up, but let's see if we're missing any loot here first. Two down, one to go. I think after after this quest, I might might call it. We're uh, we're past the top of the hour here, but uh, this uh, this bunker exploration has been going on so long. I, I don't see uh, wrapping up without finishing it off. And I think there's still more more looting to do here. Uh, it's nice that we've got a safe house right outside. So I think tomorrow night we'll we'll kick off the stream with just a, a quick run through, finish up any uh, any areas we haven't been to on the inside here. These tracks really mess you up.
I love how many enemies are in this bunker too. If this if this bunker was empty, like uh, let's say the last one we did had almost no enemies in it, that would just be a, a tragedy. This has been a, this has been a really awesome uh, just set. Everything, the, all the set pieces, the the enemies, just a, another great area in uh, Generation Zero. And apparently I'm missing a collectible here, so somewhere in this sprawling bunker is a collectible just sitting somewhere in between something. Alright, that's that's it. The quest is, is done. Gosh, and where where in all of this insanely uh, ex expansive bunker would that collectible be? Alright, I can't help but run through and see if there is uh I think there's one more power door that we can open. Uh, let's see. Or is this the way we came back in? No, I don't think we've came this way before. bugs on this bunker. Alright, we're out. So another another exit. Let's see where we popped out. Man, this place is huge. Okay, I think this is this is where we were peeking out earlier. So let's uh, let's see if we can go back in. You know what? Why don't we go out with the bang and take out this tank? I think we've got enough supplies. See where's a good spot. I feel like here is probably pretty good to fight him.
softened them up. Let's get uh, some flares ready, I think. Actually, let's do uh, let's do fireworks. I think the EMP worked. Maybe I didn't throw it far enough. He's not, he's not shutting down. Come on. Yeah, I always forget that their, their guns rotate and they can, they can shoot you from any, any direction. Got some HEs back, not uh, not nearly as much as we spent, but we got a, another tier four attachment. This spot has absolutely turned out to be the best for attachments and weapons so far. Uh, I think before uh, before tomorrow night's stream, I'm I'm gonna have to spend some time just recycling, uh, recycling and sorting out what we've gotten from this uh, from this spot. But uh, going out with the bang, the, the tank is down, and I think we'll we'll switch over to the uh, the ending stream. I'll be in I'll be in chat for a couple minutes. But thank you everyone so much for stopping by for chatting. Uh, another great stream, and I'll have it published to YouTube tonight. And I don't think we did any uh, tutorial type content tonight, so no uh, no little minor videos to pull out, but uh, still. Uh, Great stream, and again, thank you everyone for stopping by. All right, have a good night.